Hi, this is Ellen Clark, founder of Control Corrective Skin Care Systems, and today we will be demonstrating our peptide firming facial. This potent facial picks up the slack and replaces it with renewed firmness, strength, and spring. Relax as your skin is deep cleansed, massaged, and restored. An intensive toning mask featuring tissue building nucleic acid plus amino acids tightens as it dries, a literal manifestation of the firmness to come. The serum powered by collagen friendly peptides intensifies the treatment. An efficient vitamin A powered peel concludes the treatment to allow for maximum penetration of the vitamin and help gently shed sluggish cells and revive the skin. Best done in a series or as a monthly anti-aging maintenance program for progressive firming and rejuvenating results. We've just completed a double cleanse with the anti-aging cleansing gel. And then we took the soothing chamomile eye makeup remover. I like to saturate two cotton rounds with my eye makeup remover first. And then typically I will lay them on the eyes for just a moment to let the eye makeup remover kind of saturate into the mascara. And it feels really soothing and calming. And then I remove the eye makeup and it comes off really easily. So after that, we are going to apply the balancing tonic. The balancing tonic is meant to restore the pH of the skin and remove any residue. This is a great tonic for really all skin types. It hydrates, it soothes, and balances. And while we do the treatment, we always want to be mindful of balancing, particularly in this treatment. Um, it's also a good time to talk to your clients about what a tonic does how it works in the skin and why they should be using it at home. Next, we're gonna massage with this luxurious skin nourishing balm. This is a super hydrating butter balm that is kind of a harder balm when you first get it out of the container. But like most shea butter, butter bombs, you wanna warm it up first with your fingers, put it all over your hands, warm it up. You can do this under the steam if you'd like. You, you know, if, you're, if your client loves steam and you love steam, just do a light steam because it feels wonderful. It melts beautifully onto the skin and decollete. It'll keep it slip the whole time. You may also wanna tell your client to take a nice inhalation. She's gonna smell the, the beautiful French lavender and orange and it's going to start to put her in a state of extreme relaxation and we're going to massage the face for about five to ten minutes like you would normally do with an anti-aging client you can also use this on the eyelids around the eyes and anywhere you're going to be massaging her even including the hands and the feet so we've just completed massaging the skin nourishing balm for ten minutes and you can remove the excess with tissue or not, depending on the client's skin. If they're very dry, their skins, you could leave the skin nourishing balm on. The next product we're going to use and step in this facial is using the Firm and Lift Mask and Activator. This treatment mask is extremely firming and toning and tightening. We use a soy albumin that really, really tightens kind of like when you would think of like an egg white, um, but it, it really, really tones and tightens. And when it dries on the skin, there's a pulsating that the client feels. So they really feel the tightening and uh, toning. The key to doing this mask properly is using a very small amount of the powder. The more powder you use, the tighter it's gonna get, which is great, but the harder it is to remove. So you want to use just a little bit, no more than a small quarter or an eighth of a teaspoon. That depends on the size of the face. You know, some clients have really petite faces and you're going to use less product, some a little more. But I just like to use a little bit. And then you're going to mix it with the Firm and Lift Activator. And you're just going to use a little less than the powder mixture. Mix it up. 
And what we're looking for is a very thin, almost like scrambled egg consistency. So unlike an enzyme mixture that's usually a thick paste, we want this to be very, very thin. Not dripping, but very, very thin. So it's almost like a little foamy. You want to apply this in an upward direction because obviously as it tightens, it's going to tighten in the direction that you apply. You don't want to put it going downward. And, and you don't see a thick coating. It's very, very thin. This is going to dry quickly if you apply it very thin and more slowly if you apply it thick. If you apply it and you're finding it's taking longer to dry, just put a fan on. Just take a handheld fan, turn it on for a few minutes, and it'll start to tighten. You can come about an eighth of an inch up under the eyes. You can even put it, if somebody has droopy eyelids, you can put it right here on the bone of the eye area. Because this takes a little longer to dry and we want it to tighten because in the tightening is where they really feel the pulsating and tightening and firming, this is a fantastic time to do your decollete and arm massage because she's going to feel it starting to tighten and you'll, have, you'll be able to do a good 5-10 minutes on the shoulders and neck. We're now going to remove the firm and lift mask. There are several ways to remove this mask. You can have a light steam coming on her skin just to soften it up um, and that helps a little bit. It's a little bit challenging to remove the mask if you don't soften it up first. So what I like to do is we're going to take the anti-aging cleansing gel. You're going to wet your hands. Create a light suds. And we're just going to massage it just like you would do a cleanse. This is going to soften this tight mask. And because this is a non-drying cleanser, it's going to just be lovely. And you can see here, so now what I feel under my fingers is what feels like almost like plastic dissolving. And that's what you want. We're softening up the mask so that it's easy to get off. Again, you can steam while you're doing this or not. And then you're gonna use your sponges or you can use a warm towel and then sponges, either way. But see how easy it just comes right off. What I like about the Firm and Lift Mask is that not only does it tone at the face and t kind of tighten it, but um, it exfoliates in a way that feels like a polishing to the skin. So even though we're not using a peel or an enzyme in this treatment, the client gets a glow and a brightening just from the clay that's in the Firm and Lift Mask. So now, the, after we've applied the Firm and Lift Mask, we're going to follow with the next, next mask. This is a double mask application and we're going to apply the Ultra Peptide Cream Mask. The Firm and Lift Mask is tightening and toning. Now, once we've removed that, we want to really infuse moisture and peptide technology to plump, hydrate, and soothe the skin. So you take about a teaspoon of the cream mask, and we're going to apply it feels wonderful to the client and peptides are just so luscious in the formulation. This is a um, formula that really leaves the skin feeling super plump and that's what we're trying to do with more mature skin. There's a tendency when you peel, peel, peel and exfoliate more mature skin that clients will look smoother but they tend to look dehydrated a lot so this restorative approach is balancing and as you know what we're always trying to do is balance as we do everything else so if you just exfoliate you're not taking into consideration the needs of the skin fully so as you can see I apply this now this is another great time to massage the shoulders and the neck 
or if you're doing this into a mini service, there's enough, enough slip in this cream mask that you could actually do a short massage. So let's say you were doing a, a 30 minute express anti-aging treatment for Mother's Day. You could do a peel, like a glide peel or a lactic peel, apply this and then lightly massage it for five to 10 minutes and get the best of everything. In this treatment, we're going to do the double mask. So we're firming and toning and hydrating. And then the next thing to come is the vitamin A micro peel. So we've left this mask on now 10 minutes and we're gonna easily remove it with our sponges and or warm towel. It may be a little pink. If you're using hot towels, so I recommend you use a cool towel. Nothing feels as good as a nice towel. Yeah. Again, because we're following with the vitamin A peel, you don't want to use a hot towel. Okay. Now I want the skin dry before I apply the vitamin A peel, so this is a good time to just tissue off or wait until the client's skin is fully dry. The last step is the vitamin A micro peel. You're going to put a little bit in your bowl with your fan brush, and it's like a very yellow cream. And the way I like to apply it is put it on the face or most of the face with the fan brush, and then you will see I'm gonna finish with my, my gloved fingers. It feels, as I said, very nice to the client. It feels like a rich cream. And this is going to stay on the skin. What we're doing is we're delivering a high percentage of retinol into the skin. And with retinol, it'll take roughly four to six hours to fully penetrate into the skin. So you want the client to go home with this on. So what does vitamin A do for the skin? Well, as you know, probably it, it retexturizes the skin. It helps with fine lines and wrinkling because it helps to soften that, stimulates collagen and elastin. And retinol, being a chemical cousin to Retin-A, is not irritating in that it doesn't burn. It, it converts to retinoic acid below the surface of the skin. So the client may get a little peeling, but it shouldn't be irritating. And she might leave looking a little yellow tinge sometimes just because of the application, but it goes away very quickly. And you can put some on the decollete. And that completes the treatment.